Hey, this is John Lee Dumas, the founder and host of Entrepreneurs on Fire. And if you're wanting to learn how to embrace change and navigate through disruption as a leader, then listen to the Leadership is Changing podcast with my good friend, Dennis Giannoutsis. He's prepared to ignite. Welcome to Leadership is Changing. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change. This is taking your leadership to another level by finding the balance between executive excellence and personal well-being through stories that inspire real change. It's time to adapt in our fast-moving world when leadership is changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsas. Hey, welcome to the show, Leadership is Changing. What we as leaders know to be true is that change is constant. Leaders everywhere confront similar obstacles because people are people, but everywhere you go, leaders are overwhelmed, disrupted, and under pressure. They run from email to email, meeting to meeting. Many leaders are not changing quick enough, which means they run the risk of becoming irrelevant and being left behind. So perhaps the show is taking our listeners' leadership to another level by finding their balance between executive excellence and personal well-being through stories that inspire real change. I believe we don't have enough effective leaders in the world today, and if we can get the leaders to step up and lead change, then they can inspire real change. Hey listeners, it's now time to adapt in our fast-moving world. Welcome to the episode of Ask Dennis. It's great to have you with us here today on this episode. It's a Ask Dennis episode whereby it's a freestyle episode that happens once a week. I'm asked a question by our listeners and I share my thoughts, insights and experiences from working with many leaders around the globe. So I'm going to welcome you to today. In fact, Happy New Year. It's a brand new year. For some of you, you're going to be listening to this on New Year's Eve and others you'll be hearing this on New Year's Day when it is released. So I want to welcome you to a brand new year, and let's make it a massive year. That's the title for this episode today. That's what we're going to be talking about. How do we make it massive year? Well, we've done an episode recently, in fact, last time in relation to goal setting and so forth. So we'll talk about that as well today. But I trust that you've had a great break so far. For those of you who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. I hope you've had a good one. For those of you who uh, celebrate or just enjoy or actually observe the holiday season, hope you've actually had a great break over that time with family, friends, and, you know, it's really important that we actually take time out over this break, over this period of time. As many people have said to me, they are tired physically, mentally, and emotionally, and they just need a break. And so what a great time to be able to do that. As I said before, in the last episode, we talked about goal setting, but we also talked about reflecting on the year that's just been. And we gave you, I gave you three different kind of questions. What went well? What could you have done differently? And what will you do now differently going forward? And just want to ask, how's that reflection time gone for you? What insights? Love you to share and go onto our Facebook or LinkedIn page, uh, Platforms for Leadership is Changing, or send me a private message. Love to know how you're getting on with the actual reflections and were there any massive insights that came up for you as you did that? Hey, if you haven't already done it, now is a great time to start doing that and reflecting on the year that's just been. So I really encourage you to, to do that. Goal setting is a great time of, this is a great time of year to be actually doing setting goals. And for those of you as who have already listened to the other episode, how's that going for you? As I said, it's a great time to do it because it's really turning the page over or turning the leaf over or starting fresh, right? So that's a, just a great way of thinking about it. You see, I take this period of time between Christmas and New Year. That's the period of time that I take to set my goals. So the goals are set. And now what I'm thinking about here is that my year, which we're about to start, is already complete. I just now need to go ahead and do it. What do I mean by that? You see, if you can visualize and future pace and think about things in the future and start putting things in place for it, like the goal setting, then all you need to do is go ahead and put it in place. Now, for some of you, you've probably been putting some things off for a long time. Here's a special message for you. It's going to be okay. Now, go ahead and do that thing that you've been putting off for a long time. Now is the time for you to do it. You see, for me, I I put this podcast off for about a year, but I was learning so much from others and getting prepared for it. But then when I went launched, we launched within one and a half weeks. In fact, the team that helped me launch it went, whoa, we've never launched anybody that quick. And so I had everything prepared, everything ready to go, and it was push the button. Let's go. Let's make this happen, which is really important. You see, now is your time. Now is the time for you to restock, 
reflect, replenish, and now go for it. And it's time for you to get underway for your new year. For your year, make this year massive for you. Too many people set New Year resolutions, and and I chuckle there when I'm actually saying that because, you see, there's a quote that I share every year, and you'll see this quote come out from me, and it says, it's been nice knowing you, yours sincerely, 2nd of January. You see, New Year's resolutions are set. People set them, oh, this year I'm going to do that, but by the 2nd of January, they've already forgotten. A good percentage of people have already given up. Now, setting goals or New Year's resolutions are important, but let's get serious about it, eh? Let's actually think about what we're going to do. And how can you make this year massive for you, your team, your organization, your friends, your family? Hey, let's just make it a massive year. So three key things to get things uh, your year underway. You see, goals can be set in cement, but your plans will be put in sand. So the goal is going to be there in cement, but what we're going to do to get there may change and it's in sand. It doesn't have to be set in cement or concrete at all. And so we're going to talk about three things here. The three keys to get your year underway. Number one is have three to five key goals clearly set out that you're very clear about. Here are the three to five key goals that I'm going for. Once you're clear on those goals, remember this, and I I mentioned this in the last episode, but it is this. If you know how to get onto the goal or get the goal done, then it's not a goal. It's just a task. You see those big key goals are ones that you don't know how you're going to get there. You don't know how you're going to make it happen. But things do start to happen as you set the goal. And so if you already know how how it works, then as I said before, it's just a task. That's not what you're wanting. Another key thing around setting goals is to keep it simple. As human beings, we'd love to to, to complicate things or overcomplicate. You don't need to do that. Just keep it simple. It's less is more. It's probably the key words I can say there for you. Keep it simple and focus on it and go for it. If you've got those goals written down, that's really good. If you haven't, I'm going to really encourage you to write goals down. Majority of people think, who do think about goals, there's a lot of them that don't write them down. And those who do write them down and they're nice and clear goals for them, they're the ones who go on to succeed and do them as well. Do you need to have an end date? Yeah, love you to have an end date. Put an end date. Think about the big picture and when you want it done by and then go for it, all right, and uh, make it happen. That's number one. Have three to five key goals clearly or set out clearly, right, for you. Number two is create a vision board. Whoa, what's this? This is where you can go to magazines, newspapers, even the internet, you can print things out. But what I would do if I was you is think of a large or an A3 size paper or a cork board. Uh, that's the board that's with, made out of cork that you can put pins into or even a large piece of cardboard, something that you can actually have a large collage of pictures, words, and things that you can cut out from magazines and other areas and paste them. These are the things that you want as your vision, the things that you would love, whether it's a brand new house or whether you wanted to go to a new gym or there's a certain fitness that you want to look like, certain physique, um, physique the way that you want your body to look? How do you want you to come across? How do you want you to be seen by others? How do you want that physique to look like out there? I don't even know if I'm saying the right word, right? The thing here for you is, you know what I mean? How do you want to be seen by others? How do you want to feel? How do you want to walk? How do you want to talk? All of those kind of things could be on the vision board. The thing is, is this, whatever it is that you want, don't limit your thinking. Have that vision board visible so you can see it. And it's actually really amazing to see people have done it before, and I've done it before too, and do it, is when I have a vision board, that if I, the thing that I noticed later on is that I limited my thinking. If you can think bigger, now for some of you, you might go, oh, that's crazy, I'll never do that. Well, then if that's what you think, then you're right. So don't think that. Think about, this is something I'd love to do, and start thinking about how you can actually start working towards that, that item. So once again, whether it's on a big large piece of cardboard or A3 size uh, paper or even on a cork board, something that you can put up on the wall and you can refer to all the time. I think it's very, very smart. It's a great thing for you to do. So that's creating a vision board. And I remember watching a video one day. It's The Secret. It's a, it's a film that came out many, many years ago. And one of the speakers on it, one of the actors or the characters uh, on the actual uh, video talked about how he moved homes he purchased a new house and he moved into this house and they were unpacking some boxes and there was one box he still hadn't unpacked and his son came into the room and 
was sort of playing around with the box, and then he pulled this vision board or this board out, and it had a lot of pictures on it. And that's when the person realized that they hadn't looked at their vision board for a long, long time, for many years. And when they looked at the vision board, they just about fell over. What they noticed is that there on the vision board was a photo of a house. And what he just realized was the house he just purchased and moved into was the house on the vision board. Now, that's a beautiful thing to talk about because, you see, what you want and what you can think about is that vision and attract things that will be wonderful. I'm going to say to you, just be careful what you think about because you can attract things to you and you can go for things if you want to. It's totally up to you. Number three is plan and action. Some people talk about an action plan. Well, I'm going to talk to you about thinking about the plan and pulling that together to help you get those goals, but then doing some action with it as well. So plan and action. Because you see, if you put massive action in place, things will start to happen for you. If you don't, then it isn't going to happen. So start putting your thoughts around the, the, the plan you set itself and then go out there and make it happen. You may need more time than you actually think the plan needs, right? So even though you're planning to maybe get it done in two months or three months, you might need three and a half months, four months, but you all adjust because goals are in cement, our plans are in sand. Now, look out for some really, really exciting things that we're going to announce early in the new year. We're going to come out with some new things as well. So look out for those, team. And I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to share it with you. And there are some of you who probably listened to this episode in the previous episode. If you're needing help right now to get some clarity around the goals, a little bit of help around your vision board or just around the plan and the action, but if you really just want to get some clarity, hey, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to to have a chat with you about it and I'm more than happy to do that. So send me an email, which will be in the show notes, or send me a message on the um, on, on social media, private message. Happy to get together with you and have a chat and do, you know, sort of like a free strategy session with you in relation to your goals and where you're going. Hey, if you want to be part of a community, because what I noticed is that a lot of people, leaders, everybody, are quite lonely. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, over the last 18 months to two years, we've had some lockdowns, of course, and we've been having to work from home. Some organizations, some employees and leaders are still working from home. They don't actually have that human interaction. And for a lot of them, they're actually quite lonely. So I think it's really important that we actually bring community back. We bring community together for us to work together and to be around each other, even if it is on Zoom, even if it is around the world. But if you're around like-minded people, it's going to help you grow. Now, what we're looking at doing here is that if you are a leader who wants to be part of a community, Look out for something that's going to be brand new in the new year that we're going to launch and share with you because it's very, very exciting. Okay, team, it's uh, always a pleasure being with you. Have a happy new year. May 2022 be an awesome and successful year for you. May it be filled with love, health, happiness, and joy. And all I'm going to say to you is this, stay safe and have fun, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Hey, listeners, what we as leaders know to be true is that change is constant. Change is incredibly scary, especially with the unknown and unfamiliar territory. It's time to adapt in our fast-moving world when leadership is changing. Look out for the episodes as they're being released. Download them, have a listen, put a review and a rating. Feel free to share them with your friends, your family, and your network. Hey, if there's any feedback you'd like to give me about the show, or if there's a question you have for the Ask Dennis Freestyle episode, then send me an email, dennis at leadingchangepartners.com. Hey, listeners, it's always a pleasure being with you. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, bye for now. Thank you for listening to this episode of Leadership is Changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsas. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change, inspiring executives and leaders to adapt and lead a bigger game in a fast-moving world. 